Okay, well, this video is really for Granddad, and uh, he uh, showed a video where he took a, I think it was a four or five farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor, and he put it on one of these solar rockers directly uh, parallel with the solar panel, and then uh, had the thing in sunlight for a little while, and then it ran all day and then all through the night, which is what I'm kind of into are these non stop 24 hour running devices. and. Uh, so I thought I might go a little more in that direction and see what I could come up with too. And uh, uh, this is the latest thing I've been working with here is these 3D printed rotors where you don't glue the magnets on. You put the magnets on either side and they hold together in that. And I showed a video where um, I had this running and it worked really good. But then I thought, what if I make um, basically a four magnet rotor by going into Tinkercad building two of these and then blending them together into one rotor using the software and the Tinkercad and it worked great and that's the uh, 3D printed uh, rotor um, that is uh, basically that all blended together into one piece and it worked really really good um, another thing about this 3D printing that I really like is you can use that infill and make most of this hollow which makes it a lot lighter and um, I really like that feature of being able to choose the amount of uh, filling in to make it heavier or lighter but uh, this thing here has worked out really good and I'm thinking about taking one of these little capacitors here and uh, putting it on that like granddad did in parallel with the solar panel and uh, setting this someplace where it might get a little bit of sunlight in the morning and then just see how long the thing will run um, and uh, this is running on the same uh, supercapacitor this is a 3.3 .3, um, farad 2.7 volt capacitor and uh, I might uh, just see I've been putting a resistor on these things uh, but granddad showed that you could just put it straight parallel with the solar panel and it'll get the job done so that's an experiment I want to try but I wanted to show you this um, this is a real neat display thing I bought this glass this is not plastic this is glass um, on uh, eBay I think and they're hard to find and they're expensive but it makes a really good display and this uh, thing here is here again something I could 3d print this whole thing but this is the bottom of one of those and my local dollar store had them for 25 cents a piece they're closing them out so I got a bunch of them but rather than take this all apart um, I found it's just better to use that driver motor and then uh, build your pulse motor around it but uh, that uh, really worked pretty darn good for a pulse motor now all that is is a penny with a uh, plastic um, bead super glued on it and then a popsicle stick uh, with another stick on it and then um, it uh, sets up a bearing system that's pretty darn stable and then you um, make the top bearing using crazy glue and then the um, you just oil it up and once this gets going the amount of momentum in that thing it stays going um, really really well and then if I add the supercapacitor to it what I might do is put it in the back here and just mount the supercapacitor like that right into the solar panel and just see what happens I mean I, I've got enough of these to burn so that if I, I ruin it I can get another one but uh, this uh, makes a pretty neat little uh, display item that I might uh, I might enjoy that this will run on uh, just lamp light I had this run last night on just a lamp once it gets going the momentum because as it goes by the coil it induces a current so like I said I've had a lot of good luck so far with this uh, this design works pretty darn good and then with it under glass it's not it's not affected by uh, air currents or anything so anyway that's what I, where I'm at right now with these little projects and the 3d printing uh, I really really enjoying that and this was actually printed out of that PTEG 
which is a higher temperature um, filament and it actually came out pretty darn good and, and here again most of that's air uh, I had like 80% or 3% or 2% infill, um, or most infill, however you want to put that, but the, most of that's air, and that's just the shell of a rotor, basically, with the magnets holding everything together, pretty much. And a needle goes down the middle of it, and it sits in that coin, and that's the bottom bearing, and that made a pretty neat little pulse motor. And then if I can get it to go like this, with the supercapacitor, and enough energy come in during the day, I might be able to replicate Granddad's uh, experiment. I'll give a link to his uh, his experiment uh, using the supercapacitor straight to the the uh, solar rocker. No resistor, no nothing. Thanks for watching.